my baby humans, welcome back to my kitchen. As you guys know, it is the month of December and this December, I'm planning, hopefully four goes to plan. I want to like host dinners. Like I wanna be like a proper adult and host dinner parties in my house, which isn't something I've done a lot of, but I feel like this is, if there's ever a time to do it, now is the time, you know what I mean? So in order to do that, I need to get good at, you know, hosting dinners. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to practice different like festive meals and dishes. Like I'm trying to practice making them so that on the day, <laughs> there's a, you know, I, let's be honest, my cooking, like I, the thing is with my cooking, the things that I have practiced, I have nailed. So like chickpea and spinach curry, I have nailed that. It's a success every time. But things that I'm not used to and I haven't tried before, it's a bit risky. And you don't wanna be risky on a dinner party. You wanna make sure everyone's enjoying the food. So that's what I'm basically doing today. So I found a festive recipe online. It's basically a puff pastry with red onion chutney and brie cheese with a little twist which I will explain in a bit. But um, I'm gonna make a Taz style, you know? We're gonna do a festive recipe Taz style. The good thing about this is quick, it's simple, and pretty much everyone I know loves cheese. So I thought this would be a good one to try. And if it goes well, then I can, you know, it will pass the stage, it will be a tick, and I can have it for a dinner party in the future. So yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna try and make it. It's a very simple recipe. What you need is a puff pastry, um, egg, red onion chutney, brie cheese, and then the surprise secret ingredient to make it Taz style is, surprise, surprise, a hot sauce because as we guys, as we know, I like things spicy. We're gonna put a twist on a festive classic recipe. This is my first sponsorship on my second channel. It's a big day. And it's especially a big day because it's a hot sauce, which is so on brand. I feel like I manifested that. The manifestation is strong on that one. Amazon.co.uk and the sauce shop have teamed up to create the Cran Banero hot sauce, which is cranberries and habanero, which is like the perfect combination for like a Christmas dinner. So um, I'm very excited to try this out. This sounds really up my street. The Cranbonero hot sauce is limited edition and exclusively on amazon.co.uk through Prime Delivery. So definitely check it out. And I'll leave a link in the description box below. Definitely go check it out and um, let me know what you think. Oh, also I think it's important to note that amazon.co.uk stocks lots of small businesses that can really make your Christmas special this year. So yeah. Small businesses. We love supporting small businesses, so good to know. Ah, there we go. I think I'm gonna make like two parcels. I want them to look like parcels, like Christmas parcels, you know, like Christmas presents, you know? Because then how cute is that if I present that on the at my dinner party? Um, it's gonna look so cute. These are gonna be massive parcels. These sides I wanna keep because I'm gonna turn them into decorations. Now for the filling, I'm gonna put red onion chutney. Then I put the... So this is brie cheese. I'm gonna put a massive dollop of that. I wanna try it first. Oh, that smells good. That's gonna give it a real good kick, which is what we want. Cause if you're gonna come to a dinner party in my house, that's what you get. So I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna add that to the parcels too. There we go. Okay, so that's the hot sauce in there. And it looks really good actually. I just, Cover it all up. Kind of looks like a star. Well, um, I use the word kind of loosely. Then I'm gonna put some egg yolk on it. You know the leftover phyllo pastry? I basically turned them, I basically cut them out into like leaves and stuff. Make it look more like a parcel, like a present. That is so cute. They are glowing. All right, now I just put them in the oven for 20 minutes and then we could try them. Straight out the oven. Oh wow, it is just oozing through. You can see the cheese. Mmm. I think we've got a winner, lads. That's one meal idea sorted. We love that. We've come to H Mart, which is like a massive Korean super, super, super supermarket. And I'm gonna try really hard not to get the ramen, but can't make any promises. I didn't wrap it warm enough. I got a t-shirt underneath and now I'm cold. So I'm taking my cousin's um, hoodie and it is 
Vermutudi. It says, what a bargain on it. Let's see if we can get some bargains. Uh, is that? Oh, no, have I got makeup on your hoodie? No. Um, basically, we've come to a Korean supermarket. So basically, we're going to get all the ramen and stuff. Oh, thank you so much. I feel so much warmer now. Okay, we got to go now. Let's go shopping. I feel much warmer now. I'm ready to go shopping. I am trying not to get ramen, what? but I know I will get ramen because they're going to have ramen in every flavour. I don't know if I can film in the supermarket because I feel like they get funny about that. But if I can, I'll show you the ramen selection because it's crazy. They have so many different types of ramen. I can get lots of tteokbokki. Um... Just a lot of good food. And then we're going to do some more shopping. We're going to go to like a uh, shopping center. So yeah, it's just a day of shopping. You love that. This is the Korean supermarket. It's called H-Mart. It is huge and there's so much in there. Look how big the onions are. The size of your head. It's like a quarter of my head, but that is a massive onion. I love the first thing I show you is a massive onion. This is what it looks like on the inside. I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to film, so I'm going to go on a bike. Look what they got here. They got lobster. Oh my god, this is so cute. Can I see it? They, you know what they get you with the packaging? Should we try this one? Yeah. What's this one though? What's the flavor? There's peaches as well. So should we get one of them? Yeah. Guys, look what I found. It's Nest Tea. I, I tried this in, I think it was Spain. And it's like my favorite lemon iced tea. And I haven't found it anywhere since, but I just found it now. Look what I found. Oh, this is the favorite brand. They, I didn't know they did it in the UK. Oh, this one's so good. It's the best iced tea you can get. I found the ramen. Look how many different types you have. We're going to have a little um, meal today. We're going to watch In the Soup by BTS. And we're going to have some rice with some ramen in it. How you cute. Kimchi fried rice. We're going to make kimchi fried rice today. I got loads. I got, I got. How cute are these drinks? Uh, we bought these purely for the packaging because look how cute they are. But they're just like fruit drinks. We didn't look at the bottom. We thought it might be like milkshake or something, but it's just regular drinks. But how cute are they? I want to keep the bottles. Grab We're going to do a little taste test of this one. Because it's going to be completely new to us. Did you want it? Oh, I like it. Come on. Just give me a, a half of one then. Give me what you in your hand. It's basically Rubicon mango. That's basically Rubicon mango, which was mm. my favorite drink growing up. That's yeah, good, isn't it? Yeah, this is actually really good. Okay, let me try the peach one then. Let's try the peach one. Okay, now we're going to try the peach one. Sniff it. You don't like it? Ooh, I do. Rate it. I think it's like the lychee Rubicon. <laughs> It's basically like Rubicon. If you haven't had Rubicon, you should try and have it. It's really good. <laughs> Got nothing to do with this video, but yeah. you know, soon you can see that. Can you see the over gap, the over thing, my friend? Too soon in five months' time, that's gonna be straight. Yeah. Only because of the. Yeah, go for it. Sorry, I'm done. Oh my god! Whoa, it is confusing. It's an eyesore, isn't it? <laughs> Lighting is really awful, so I apologize, but there's like this massive Christmas shop. Do you see it? There's like a massive Christmas shop. It looks so cool that I have to experience it. It looks so good. Wow. Oh my god, that's so funny. Look at this. Joy. Come to the Christmas. Wow. How nice is it in here? Oh, that's a cute one. I don't like this one. <laughs> we are picking uh, baubles for the tree. And I know it's really early, but they look so cute. Who can resist? And this is the one I chose. It's kind of simple. This is the one my niece chose. I went for the hat instead. I changed my mind. I got the hat instead. So we've come to this like Korean place to have a um, Korean corn dog. Mm cheese corn dog whatever it is so i'm gonna try now but i think it's too hot so i might struggle mm. Ooh. No! how cute is this i want to get it i wasn't even planning on doing any shopping today but i bought a lot of stuff and now i'm in primark which means i'm in trouble because i've come to return some stuff but i'm just gonna buy a bunch of stuff too primark is like my weakness just woke up from a nap which means i'm not gonna go to bed till really late tonight and i have to wake up early so we love that we just love 
having a really bad sleeping pattern. Yay. Oh, can I do this? Will this sting? No. And I thought now was a perfect time to end this vlog. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fabulous time. Can't really remember what's in this vlog, so we love that. But, yeah. Okay, great. Let's just end the vlog here. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I love you lots. I hope you're doing well. How's your nan? What's the weather like where you are in the world right now? And I just hope you have great mental health. I love you lots. I already said that. But I'll tell you again. You can never say that enough. Um, and on that note, I'm going to go now. Maybe I'll see you soon. Maybe I won't. We never know on this channel. As always, don't get attached. Love you. Bye.